Hey everybody and welcome back to another part in my Pokemon Black and White walkthrough. Really quick here, there will be no intro in this part. I wasn't able to put it in the video because there's some problems, but it should be in the next part. Also, in the last video's description, um, I said there's going to be a little surprise. It's not too much, but I think it's kind of cool. But I did not know I was going to be putting putting this little editing thing into my video. You'll understand a little later when I'm talking about. But I didn't know I was going to be doing this, so through this whole video I don't say anything about it. But next video I'll talk more about it. So I'm going to have to cut off here really quick. So I will see you guys in one sec. Hey everybody, and yes, I'm back. Uh, I changed my mic, or way I way I'm commentating for another um, gym leader battle. Um, I can do this more often. Personally, I think it's better because there's no little. I don't know, whenever I talk in my mic, there's this little kind of staticky thing. I don't know. Um, it kind of shows up in my... It kind of shows up in the walkthrough, so... Uh, I can do this. It just takes a little bit more time to edit stuff out. Um, that'd be pretty much it. But since I'm kind of lazy, I've been really only doing this when I face a gym leader battle. So, if no one really says anything, I'm just going to keep it the way it has been. But if people do like this way a lot better, uh, I can um, I can start doing that. And now I'm actually like reco or I'm recording live, so I can't mess up. Nice machine back there. So let's talk to this western-looking cowboy dude, Yakin. Standing right in front of this gigantic diamond, or... Good lord. Alright, so... Our fifth gym leader, Yakin. I can't believe it's already here. Uh, actually, it should have been here a long time ago, but... I have not been doing very good uh, uploading. But anyways, he's going to start off with a level 29 Warubiru. Uh, you can also call this thing a Warubile. Two ways to uh, pronounce it. Um, but yeah, level 29 knows the moves Swagger, Torment, Crunch, and Smooth Over. Now, Smooth Over is, um, is something else. Well, they, they've, uh, they call it something else in this, um, patch. I think it's level, ground level, or level ground, or something like that. I know one of his Pokemon will use it soon. Uh, fairly easy to beat if you have a good water type, like... Fudichimaru, he is beast, I wish he stayed like this the whole time, and wow, he's sending out the big boy, bringing in the big guns right now, um, Dor Doriyuzu, hopefully I said that right, um, it has the moves Rock Slide, Claw Sharpen, Slash, and Smooth Over, now again, Smooth Over is said to be something else. Um, it should use it after this. This thing is very powerful. It's his, it's his best Pokemon. It's a ground steel type, so um, water and ground type moves should be can be used on it. I think even grass type moves as well. Guess what? I did expect this. Um, actually... Oh, crap. I can't use the same move twice. That's okay, because I do have two water moves. Um... 
This might do a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, nice, I lived. Hopefully I hit, I do. See you later. Nice, you get a lot of experience points for beating him. Alright, and last up is Gamagaru. Um... Gosh, I don't know. You know what, I'm gonna switch out. It's pointless to keep... Fuda in here. But I don't know what I should put. You know what, never mind, I'm gonna leave him in here just to see what I can do against him. I really... Ooh, changes the music. Um... Crap. Um... I keep clicking the same thing on accident. Um... Let's see here. I guess I'll go with a water pulse. I don't really know what to use. Um... Level, this guy is Gamagaru, level 29, knows the moves, Aqua Ring, Bubble Beam, Muddy Water, and Smooth Over. God, I wish he would use it so I know exactly what the move is called. I think it's ground level or level ground or ground level? I don't know. Wow, this actually was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Uh, actually, I did fight him before. Uh, kind of like a practice round, just to see what he's got and everything. And I pretty much got destroyed. Um, I only took out his first Pokemon, and that was it. Looks like I won't be finding out. Uh, but we'll find out later. So yes, you're gonna grow to a lot. Our ninja's gonna go to 32. He's moving up in the world right now, and I have just defeated gym leader number five, Yakin. Give me the money, 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 money. So after beating him, thank you very much, sir. You will get the Quake Badge. That's a cool name for a badge. Don't really like the badge itself, though. Right now, my favorite would probably be the Force Gym Leader's badge. Right now. Um, so yeah, you get the Quake badge. Pokemon uh, up to level 60 will obey you now. Um, and that is it. Just walk over here. You're probably wondering, hey, wait, where's the TM? Don't worry, you will be getting it very soon. It will be very short before you will get it. Don't worry. He didn't, they didn't, they weren't mean to you and uh, forget to give this guy a TM to give to you. But, go up. Gosh, if this place collapses, these people are done for. I don't know why I went all the way around. So come up here, do a little celebrating dance, yay. See what this guy has to say. Uh, it's in Japanese, thanks a lot. Um, so yeah, we are done here, and i just like to say thank you for watching. And I will see you all next time. You didn't see this, but now it is spring for some reason in this game, even though... Isn't it still technically winter? I don't know. But that kind of sucks, because I do mi I will miss the snow. And, um... Yeah, we didn't have very many parts with snow, did we? But, yeah, I'll see you all next time, so thanks for watching.